morning world! Welcome back to the channel! Today we are going to be sharing with you guys the route that we are going to be taking on our Guinness World Record attempt to be the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We are Lavi and Oli and we have been traveling for the past five years. Now we love an adventure challenge, like when we walked 3,000 kilometers across New Zealand. Cycled 2,000 kilometers across Britain. Or drove 15,000 kilometers around Europe in a 500 pound van. wasn't enough for us and we were dreaming always for a big 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 around the world trip a real crazy adventure in case you didn't see it in the last video here are the main criteria Guinness World Records requires for a circumnavigation of the globe number one the start and finish points must be in the same location number two the journey should be continual and in one direction number three the minimum distance travelled must exceed the equator's length or more than 24,900 miles or roughly 40,000 kilometres. Number four, the participants must pass through two approximate antipodal points during the attempt. Now, antipodal points are two points that are directly on the opposite side of the globe to each other, like Christchurch in New Zealand and A Coruña in Spain, or Wuhai in China and Valdiva in Chile. So this is the plan. So we'll be starting our journey here in the UK. We'll make our way down through Europe on the Trans Euro Trail, a super cool off-road trail created by the adventure motorcycle community through France, Spain and Portugal. From there we'll take a ferry across to Morocco where we'll ride down the West African coast all the way to Dakar, Senegal. We'll then ship the bike to Rio de Janeiro and follow the east coast of Brazil down into Argentina to tick off our first antipodal point in Puerto Natales, Chile, at the very southern tip of Patagonia. From there, we'll follow the Pacific coast up through the jungles, mountains and deserts of South and North America to reach Vancouver, Canada, where another ocean crossing will take us to Vladivostok in eastern Siberia. After reaching our second antipodal point in Ulan Ude, we'll ride our way down into Mongolia, where 3,000 wild kilometers later, we'll reach Kazakhstan. Three and a half thousand kilometers later, we'll take a ferry across the Caspian Sea to Azerbaijan, Georgia, and finally back onto the Trans Euro Trail through Turkey, the Balkans, Slovenia, Italy, France, and back to the UK. Now, we are aware with the current global situation that plans can quickly change, so this route is by no means set in stone, but we will make our way around the world one way or another, that's for sure. So we have planned for this journey about two years, enough time to enjoy ourselves, to see the sights and to meet and ride with as many people as we can. We're also going to be trying to do as much off-road riding and wild camping as possible, getting as remote as the bike can take us and really getting out into the beautiful landscapes of the world. We still have a lot of planning to do and a lot of gear to get, but we are super excited and we can't wait to get started. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to be seeing our new motorbike for the very first time. The adventure machine that's going to take us around the world. Please subscribe to the channel and join us on this epic adventure around the world. We will see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cheers again, Guinness. Cheers, Guinness. <laughs>